So we spent the last few days in Kathmandu just relaxing, unwinding, following our trek. Uh, it's been really nice to catch up on a few things and just get some good sleep and some good food. But today we've decided to go out and do some sightseeing. We actually had a bit of a situation this morning. We moved hotels um, and so we haven't got out in it until about 2pm this afternoon. But we've now made our way to the Durbar Square in Kathmandu. Uh, Durbar means basically like palace. So there's all these different kind of posh buildings around a big square and there's just a few different things that we go into. It doesn't seem that organised so we're just going to have a look in a few different places and see what we can see. So actually a lot of uh, Durbar Square unfortunately was damaged in the 2015 earthquake. This is one of the cool things that looks like it's still just about standing being held up by a load of uh, timber beams around the outside. And apparently here is like the temple of the living goddess. So there's a living goddess here and you apparently sometimes can see her from the windows here. Uh, but I don't know how often she actually comes. And uh, yeah, it's pretty cool. It's very different to anywhere else we've been recently. So this is the Jagannath temple and it's a quite interesting one. They've got so many different carvings of like Karma Sutra things going on. It's very different, uh, very weird, something we haven't seen before. So one of the most impressive sights to see here, or what was, was the Kashta Mandap, which is behind me. And it was completely knocked down in the 2015 earthquake. Um, so they're still repairing it now and it's a real shame that you can't go and visit it. You can really tell how impressive all the buildings that have been here, but it's just a shame that everything got so destroyed in the earthquake. museum here. Um, I don't know if it was here before the earthquake but now it's all about the earthquake and it's really crazy. They're just showing all pictures of what it all looked like before the earthquake and all the restoration work that they're doing to repair it and like there's some people who've written their stories and artifacts from around the different temples and buildings that fell down. It's just quite amazing. I never really knew how bad the damage was. It's really interesting to find out about the history as well. So there's like three kingdoms that make up Nepal uh, before Nepal was a unified country. Um, one in Patan, one in Kathmandu, and one in a place called Bhaktapur, all really close to here in the Kathmandu Valley. And then they all had these big palace squares, these Durbar squares. And that's basically what it is. It's like all the palace buildings and multiple buildings that make it up, including temples and treasuries and everything and they're actually UNESCO World Heritage Site, all three of them together, and some of the other buildings and temples nearby as well. So we're pretty much done here in Durbar Square. Uh, the museum was really good, some of the buildings are really cool to look at, and we're gonna make our way over to the Budanas Stupa, which is gonna take us a bit of a taxi ride to get over there, so hopefully we can find a good price for that out on the street somewhere. So we've made our way now to the Baudanath Stupa, 
and it was built in the 14th century AD. Apparently it's one of the most holy sites uh, for Tibetan Buddhists. And it's really, really impressive. It's this huge dome which apparently symbolizes the whole world. And then some huge steps up to the, really up to the sky. It's meant to be the ladder to enlightenment apparently. Um, and then the whole thing surrounded by all these cool prayer wheels where you can just turn around and you turn the prayer wheel, make a wish and apparently your wish will come true. I'm not sure, but I think you're meant to walk one direction because everyone seems to just be storming around doing all of the prayer wheels on the way. So I think you're maybe just meant to go one direction around the whole stupa. Our final stop of the day. We're gonna go and see this temple on the river, but it started raining really strongly now, and we don't have an umbrella, we don't have our max with us, we're not on the trek anymore. So we're just gonna head back to the hotel and then go and get some dinner instead.